Hi, my name is Walt Farchman from HBM. HBM, along with the SOMAP brand, has about 35 years of experience in the rugged mobile data acquisition market. And today I want to touch on some of those products. I'll touch on the EDAC as well as the EDAC Lite, the EDAC XR, the EDAC XR Lite, and also how those work together with the SOMAT XR modules. Okay, let's get started. In 2001, the EDAC was born. The EDAC, much like some of the previous SOMAT products, was intended to be used on a rugged mobile application. This is a layered system, so you can configure the system however you want. Uh, it's built on a robust Linux operating system. It can handle up to eight layers, so a lot of channels in one stack. And then you can network multiple systems to get up to very high channel count. So over the years, though, we've introduced new or released new processor, new signal conditioning layers. So you can measure just about anything you'd want um, from strain gauges, thermal couples, digital, CAN, uh, video, you name it, you could do it with the EDAC system. A few years after the EDAC was released, we released the EDAC Lite. Very similar, same processor, multiple layer options. We can support up to eight layers on this as well. So it's very much the same software as the EDAC just in a smaller footprint with the same similar signal conditioning layer options, thermal couple, digital, strain, uh, can, things like that. So now let's talk a little bit about the new EDAC XR. So there's a lot of people out there, customers that have a lot of systems, the EDAC system. We've made the new EDAC XR platform so you can easily migrate uh, from today's technology to tomorrow's technology. So the first thing with the existing EDAC is the processor. And the first step in the migration to the EDAC XR is a new processor. So we have to remove the old processor. So I don't have bolts in here just for demonstration's sake. This is the processor of the EDAC. We would remove that. You could then bolt the layers right onto the old base plate, or we have a new base plate that you can also get. So that makes it nice because it's a little lighter of a base plate than this kind of busy and heavier base plate. So that's the first step in the migration to the EDAC XR. The next step is interfacing to those layers. So we first have to remove the lid, and then we add an adapter plate. All this adapter plate does is it allows the new processor to talk to the legacy boards. So we would mount that on and then simply add the new processor onto that and bolt that down. Now this is the new processor. So let me explain some of the connections on here. We have the power connection, which is the same as what's on your EDAC today with the addition of two digital inputs and three outputs. We have three CAN ports wired just like your EDAC today. GPS port that supports 5 Hz and 200 Hz GPS. Communication, 1 uh, gig Ethernet, so much faster. Two expansion ports, and I'll show you how, what those can do later. They can connect either to a SOMAT XR module or easily network multiple systems together. This is really nice compared to the old EDAC where you had to do a sync line and have a master slave. This is plug and play, just looks like more hardware in your system. And then the last port here is a USB port, which today isn't doing anything, but it gives us some options to do some things in the future. Okay, so we've now added the processor to our legacy layers. And let me say a few more things about the processor. The processor is where the, the software resides. So we no longer have to install anything on our PC. Uh, you just use a browser like Chrome, connect to the unit, and all the software comes up. This video is mostly focusing on hardware. There's videos that we have out there on our software, so please take a look at those. Uh, one more thing, we are using super caps for backup for the whole system. And the super caps actually, if I can show you, are on the bottom of the board here. So if you do have a brownout condition, 
the super caps keep the system up and running for five seconds or so so that it can get through that transition and keeps your test running smoothly. Nice thing about super caps is they don't degrade in performance uh, over time like batteries do and they take minutes to charge not hours so that's a really nice feature. In the future we'll be developing new signal conditioning layers for the EDAC XR which will be nice because then you can build the system up as well as utilize your legacy layers at the same time. For example here I have any, uh, a, what we're calling the bridge board but it's actually a combination of uh, HLS and a bridge board if those of you who know the uh, products from the EDAC family. So this can do a wide range of analog inputs it can do up to 200 kilohertz uh, samples per channel, uh, sense lines, quarter half full bridge, 120, 350. Uh, more information will come on this. But just to give you an idea, all you'll have to do is pop this right on top. And you can see you can add your layers up as well as down. So you can see the versatility here of this system. But that's not all, I feel like a commercial. You can also connect to SOMAT XR modules and put these up to 50 meters away from the, the base unit. So now you combine a centralized system with a distributed system and you can have many modules um, depending on how you configure the system. Um, utilizing these two ports here, these expansion ports, those were the ports that we used for networking multiple EDAC XR systems as well as connecting to SOMAT XR modules. So hopefully you see the value of having the EDAC XR processor that brings together legacy layers, new layers, and SOMAT XR modules. And for brand new systems, you could take just a simple base plate here and the footprint is much smaller than the EDAC footprint. You'll have a smaller system. Uh, and you can still network with multiple systems, connect to SOMAT XR modules, and connect to other EDAC XR light mod, uh, systems, which I'll talk about next. So let's talk a little bit about the EDAC light and the EDAC XR light. What we've done, again, uh, we made the EDAC XR light a little smaller because we removed the fins from the EDAC light. Uh, we also combined a couple things in the processor, like our CAN ports. So uh, in the light processor, same sort of thing. You have uh, the same power plug. You have two CAN ports rather than three just because of space. We have the GPS port for 200 hertz versus, uh, and, I'm sorry, 200 hertz and 5 hertz. Gigabit Ethernet and one expansion port, again, because of size, couldn't fit two in there, and then the USB port, very much like the full-size EDAC XR. The signal conditioning layers for the EDAC XR light are essentially the same as we have for the EDAC. If you recall, we can go up to eight high, eight layers high, and each layer, if I take one off here and compare it to uh, the existing EDAC ring, it's the same electronics, same connections as you have today. And what's nice is, if you did have a system that had new layers, the EDAC XR layers, you can combine this with the old layers. So you can combine XR layers, the, new, the uh, EDAC layers. The only thing you have to be aware of is if you are going to combine legacy layers with new hardware is you have to use the old lid with the corner posts because the legacy layers don't have the screws that we walk down to connect those. So you would have the, the corner posts and the old lid. And just like the full-size EDAC XR, the EDAC XR Lite can connect to SOMAT XR modules. So now you could have a very small uh, system, but you can also have these modules remotely placed throughout your vehicle. And uh, again, you're not limited to two. You can have many modules going into the expansion port here. So hopefully this video gave you a little better feel for our offerings for rugged mobile data acquisition equipment. Whether you're doing construction, agriculture, mining, 
off-road vehicles. These solutions should be able to collect the data for you. So again, EDEC XR Lite, EDEC XR, and SOMED XR. Whether you need a centralized system or a distributed system, hopefully we have a solution for you. For more information, please visit hbm.com. Thank you.